What's going on guys, it's Austin here, and if you didn't get that intro, shame on you. So anyways, Google had a press event today in San Francisco and they shared some pretty neat things. So let's get into it. So first things first, unsurprisingly, the new Nexus 7. So just as we were expecting, Google is gonna be releasing a new Nexus 7 tablet with updated specs and internals, as well as a new high resolution display. So the new Nexus 7 has a thinner profile, thinner bezels, and along with that thinner bezel, it does have a nice upgrade over the previous screen. So instead of having a 1280 by 800 display, they bumped it up to 920 by 1200 display. And that's bumping up the pixels per inch density from 216 PPI to 312 PPI, basically making it the highest resolution seven inch tablet on the market today. So apart from the new screen, some other upgrades we saw were the 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 Pro processor in there, and they did bump up the RAM from one gigabyte to two gigabytes, so you'll be able to have better multitasking on the tablet. And as far as cameras go, we're gonna be seeing a 1.2 megapixel camera on the front, as well as a five megapixel camera on the back. Not the best resolution there, but it's a fairly inexpensive tablet, so that's nice to see. Now some other features to point out there are Bluetooth 4.0, 4G LTE unlocked, so you can buy one device and use it on any carrier that supports 4G LTE. Uh, dual speakers with virtual surround sound, and I was a little disappointed that they didn't go with the HTC One approach with the speakers on the front side, but it should still offer some pretty good audio quality. And also we should be expecting nine to 10 hours of battery life with just regular use. Now one thing that did unfortunately go up was the price, so the base model, the 16 gigabyte version will be running you about $229, so a $30 increase there. You can get the 32 gigabyte model for $269 and the 32 gigabyte LTE version for $349. And to use this as a segue into the next thing that they announced, it will be shipping with Android 4.3 at launch, which will be on July 30th. Now I must say Android 4.3 really didn't offer that much, or at least to me, I didn't see it as much of a big upgrade, although I wasn't really expecting one. Now some new things that we'll be seeing in 4.3 is multi-user restricted profiles, which is kind of good if you have a tablet that you share with the family, so now everybody has restricted access to different apps and different folders and things like that on your tablet device. Another thing was something they call Bluetooth Smart, which is basically just allowing your devices to connect to low power Bluetooth devices. And it's also gonna have improved gaming support with Open GLES 3.0. I have no idea what that means, but I'm sure developers do. So there's that. Now moving on to the third and final thing that they announced today. This is something that people saw on Google's website but had no idea what the hell it was. And that is Google Chromecast. Now this interesting device is a small dongle that you plug into your television's HDMI port, you connect it to your Wi-Fi, and you can basically stream and push content onto your television from all of your different Android devices. So they did show us like a Netflix app with the integrated capabilities of just streaming from your tablet or from your phone onto your TV with YouTube, with Chrome apps. So basically just another way for you to share your information and actually utilize a sound system you probably have hooked up to your 50 inch flat screen. And the interesting thing about this is it's only $35. This is something that you could probably have on different TVs around the house if that's what you really wanna do. And it comes with three months of Netflix. So yeah, that can be ordered beginning on Wednesday. So this wasn't the biggest event, but they did announce some pretty cool things such as Chromecast and the pretty solid update on the Nexus 7. So let me know what you guys thought about this event. Will you guys be getting the new Nexus 7? Can you see yourself using the new Chromecast? Let me know in the comments below. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can catch all of my latest updates. Again, this has been Austin and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Mm.